Colton Cole, a hammer inside. So I just want to talk about what surprised you about your team specifically this season compared to the seasons in the past. We're just trying to make, um, you know, make a name for ACU. You know, uh, we did it two years ago at the March Madness, and I think this year we're on our own journey. And I think uh, um, the, the people who didn't get to experience get to experience this year. And I think that's that's a huge key in leadership. So I think that's what we look forward to. This team seems to genuinely love one another. How does that translate on the court during your games? Uh, I think that just plays in our strength. Uh, we know what, uh, what everyone's capable of. We know what they can do. We've seen it in practice. And uh, when it comes to game time, we kind of just trust each other. And we know um, that's what they've been doing their whole lives. After every game, you seem to always have some sort of food in your hands. Is that some sort of reward? <laughs> so. We don't eat, we, I mean, we eat hour after practice, so um, we don't really have any food into, like, we, our games last about, about two, two and a half hours, so uh, Coach Decker always brings us snacks during halftime, and no one usually eats them because they're always focused on the game, and after the game, they kind of just, whatever they don't eat, I pick up because, you know, I'm not going to pass up free food, so that's kind of kind of what I go to. This is kind of a random question, but your girlfriend actually also plays volleyball here at ACU. What is it like for you to be on the same schedule as her? You're both busy. How do, how do you all make that work? It's just easy to easy to click because you know um, we both have busy schedules. Uh, you know she she got to come work out, work out early. I understand, um, but I think the biggest thing is just support. You know, uh, sometimes I got to respect like I'm not being able to see her. You know, because she's tired. You know, she had a good workout. So um, it's just it's just being able to bond together and just know that uh, we're on the same page. You're a leader on the court, that's for sure. But how does that translate into your life off the court? Yeah, so um, I know that basketball always, it's going to come to an end. So I think, uh, you know, having that competitive mindset uh, in the working field, it, it, it'll pay off, you know, being competitive, always always wanting to be better, strive for, strive for greatness. So I think uh, just learning from, you know, the competitiveness to work into a business aspect is just, uh, just working and getting better. How has Coach Golding's coaching style helped you as a player? He, he's, he's more of an inside-out coach. Um, I know a lot, of, a lot of college basketball is all about the shooting at three and, and uh, getting the point guards involved, but he, he really enjoys the bigs, working with the bigs, and he thinks our offense is really great inside-out. You know, when they collapse, you just kick it out to the extra man and they just hit shots, so I think that's just uh, his, his coaching style. We're always seeing y'all dancing and having fun after games in the locker room. What is it like for you to be so close with your teammates that you can have that kind of fun with them? I, th I think it's all credit to the staff. Uh, the cr they really love us. Um, they, they take us in uh, more than just players, as, as people, as a child of God. I think um, and Coach always told us, you know, winning college basketball is not easy. So uh, we celebrate every win, and I think everyone looks forward to that, that uh, after, after win uh, postgame dance. <laughs>